Hi right, guys. Well, my original plans have gone out the window because it's pissing it down outside, so I can't finish off the other two bikes. Not yet, anyway. So, I decided to come back up here and uh, might as well start working on this one. So, first thing I is going to do is going to put the handlebar on. I just need to back the four nuts out a little bit further. I'm going to get away with those too. Will that now slide in there? Yep. Right. Uh, I've got my stool in here. I'm going to go nick my stool back. I either need another floor fan or another stool. <laughs> sit here on the stool. Shouldn't take me too long to uh, bugger around with this one. Alright. Let's bend those legs down a bit. That's the problem when you're doing things like this. You do need two hands. Get that as central as possible. wheel you go corner to corner get a nice even tighten on them and that's what I'll do I'll just keep going around like this till they're nice and tight About half turn on each until I get there seat post might be handy next, especially when I put the wheels in. But, what I'll do first, I'll, uh, I'll adjust you and turn you. Got a pair of wheels here. I've actually pin pinched some um, proper rim tape this time. Sometimes I cheat and use um, a roll of electrical tape. I haven't got one of these handy. Right, so I'll do that. Get the valve holes all lined up. That's almost one. That's gone on a bit wonky there. A bit of wonky is no good because that means spokes are showing, and we don't want spokes showing because I'm punching a tube. Right. Well, I've just got to put the um, single speed on. I'll do that in a second. I think I'll put this one on the front. Nice big chunky tyre. Lift this off. And what will I do with the bloody inner tubes? Here we go. The bloody inner tubes. You may need to go find uh, chunkier inner tubes, if I've got any, because these are close skin. Pull that through in a minute. The tire on, the front wheel pretty much set up. Quick release I picked for this as well. Free will help. 
solder on. Put the tool in. Now, I'm not going to get lucky. really really easy. As simple as that. And that just slides off. Oh, there's two there. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. The bears feel a bit dry. Spacer first, and the next, the uh, sprocket that will only go on one way. I've got to find that way. Where's me little? What's that one? Shallower spacer. Hmm. Uh, okay, we'll use that one. That's going to be too shallow. That one's too deep. Right. Do the shallow on one of those. If I had the machine, I'd cut it down, but I don't have the machine. Um, uh, that's a bit of a bummer because I don't have spacers either, or anything I can use as a spacer. I'm 
actually looking totally the wrong place. Mm. Uh, where is it? There it is. with the single speed oddly is a little bit deeper so let me just get my sprocket back on Ah, there we go, I think. Yep, he's got it. May have to put a nut on the axle to space that a little, but it's got it. Right. screwdriver, why can't I see it? I can see the yellow sponge, but I can't see a yellow handled screwdriver. That'll do. <laughs> oh. Right. Tire. Is there a direction on this one? Doesn't matter with the front one, because I can flip the front wheel round. Rotating direction. All right. so that's the wheel. Let's go that way on. Some tires do have a direction. As this one does. Well, well. Turns the bike upside down and puts the wheels in. Oh, no, I can't. I need to find a nut for that wheel. Uh, you know, I have a problem with this tire. It doesn't want to go on, it keeps popping off. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go on now, now I've got it started. Yep, it's gone on. So I have to make sure that bead is sitting right when I uh, bolt it on. If you guys would like to follow me, not that I'm giving you a lot of choice. Grab these. Yeah. <sighs> 
hopefully, 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 hopefully one of these will fit. Unlucky for a seat post. Oh, would you bloody believe it? That one's too big. Have we got too small or too big? I wonder though, if I loosen that clamp a bit more, because I did push that on there right tight, that bloody would be a 6mm, wouldn't it? Now, usually a 5mm, but that one has to be different and has to be a 6mm. my comb off a BMX or something. Let's just put my foot on the frame. Nah. That one is definitely too big. Uh, don't think I've got one up, not up here at least. Oh well, that'll be the last thing I do, then I'll sort that out another time. For now, we'll get it sitting on some wheels, shall we? I wonder what I can do, that might be easier. I'll sit it on the Connects case, that'll raise the back end enough for me to put the wheel in. Fuzzled now. <laughs> I'm actually going to put the. What's that for you like? Oh, there we go. Still. Big enough owl. That is though. Right. Give me a little bit of extra room. I don't want to bolt the back one in too tight because I'll have to adjust it when I'm, I sort the chain. Yeah, that's got to go in there. Oh, that's much better. And in fact, I've got a bit of old space this side. the um, sprocket in line as much as possible, don't I? So, so rotation direction on this tar. Can I just stick the bloody thing on any way around? It's about time I found a use for my chunky tars. Inflation, or inflation detonated cover. Looking at the tread though, I don't think it really matters with this one. Right. Drop the bloody wheel in. It says it was a wonderful start of it.
right. I've got a wheel in. I've got a wheel in that captain. Right. So I'm dropping bits everywhere. Right. I'll pop that dust cap out. Do these next. <laughs> That's going to be extremely close. I may. I may have to go through my crank box and uh, get a smaller one because I ain't going to fit. <laughs> Pardon me. Damn. Well, is that going to line up there if I leave it as it is? Get in. <laughs> okay. Box. Um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera off and just go fishing in my cupboard. I'm going to need some bits for that anyway. Try to find a smaller crank I can use. Or a sprocket. If I've got a chain ring, that'd be even better. Anyway, I'll be back in a well blink of an eye for you guys. Okay, I've uh, got a crank on it. It is a three-speed crank, but that will do for the time being. But that's the sort of size uh, crank I'm going to need. Single-speed crank, if I can find one. Wheels are bolted in. I've just got to pump them up. Uh, took me a while to find a bloody wheel nut. There was not one in this pot. Not a si- sorry, wrong pot. Not a single wheel nut in this pot of wheel nuts would fit. <laughs> but I did find one that was in the pot of a sort of nuts and bolts. So that's all on. So what I'm going to do now is if you're somewhere and there while I puff air into the wheels. And we'll see if I'll put punctured tubes in, shall we? <laughs> so apart from the seat breaking a couple of um, handbag grips, it's done. Nearly. As far as I know, it's still raining outside, so option I've got is to bring the bikes back up here and uh, um, do what I've got to do while I'm up here. have to keep my eyes open for a bike at the recycling centre that's got maybe a suitable single speed on it or just leave that on there one or the other it doesn't matter really it would look better if I had a proper single speed crank but I'm not sure I'm going to find one unless I can find a middle chain ring for the other ones I've got but I don't have a middle one that's not bent anyway. I've got a big one. 
if we go bang or not. That won't be the first time. Although they're rather loud out in the open, so that would be hella loud in here if that did go pop. It's 38 PSI on each tar. Right. Somewhere. No, I knocked it off, didn't I? Did I? Yeah, I'm sure I knocked it off. I must have done, because it's not lying up there, right? Oh. I founded it. Just to get the brake lever on. Just stand here for a minute. Wiggle it on. I said I was going to put that on the middle one, didn't I? Push that down. Uh, yards of cable. I don't think I'd have needed one as long as I'm using, but I don't know. Not going there, so. A couple of brake pads. Connect the brake up. The feeling is still popping in the place. It won't come off the wheel anywhere, is it? Nope. Oh, that only just fits in these forks, though. Look at this. <laughs> That's pretty close. Thankfully, that bit doesn't go up and down with the suspension forks. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I'd have been in trouble if it did. Right, yeah, so, brake pads, might be able to find, I'll find an old seat I can slap on it. And, uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere at least. I've got a couple of brake pads here. What's the one I had up here like? Does it match? No, it doesn't. Do they match? Do they bollocks? Right, so I've got three brake pads there. None of them bloody match. To the cupboard, I suppose. <laughs> I'll pick those up later. I'll have a tidy up before I bring the other bikes up here. I've put the uh, matching crank on for the Saracen. I think it's this box. It's is it this box? It is this box. I was a bit confused for a second there. <laughs> there was a wrong type of brake block in here. Right. I'll stand you on here. Just while I find a pair. I find pump brackets. I do want pump brackets, but not for this bike. I've got a pair here. The meat on them isn't a lot of cop, but. Or I've got another pair there. Which have got better meat on them. Or I've got that pair. One's better than the other. Let's see what I've got. Oh, 
Um, spares because I may need some. Ow. Let's change this uh, bolt for a 5mm one. Uh, what spacing am I going to need? Let's get the cable out of the way. Can you see, see something? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can actually see what I'm doing. What the heck was that that just shattered? Oh. The spring did. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Well. I need to put spots on it. Let's see what I'm doing. It's just as well I've got a silver pair down there, really, isn't it? So I guess it's the silver pair I'm going to be using. Because I think this one has just broke. It did indeed. It's absolutely shattered the thing. Look at that. It's completely uh, shattered. <laughs> well, I guess that was a weak one. Right, it doesn't matter. I brought a spare pair up. <laughs> just put that in there like that. Boom. half of that thing. <laughs> right. Let's go run up the cupboard and get one of them bolts.
like the whole pile of trays that would be the bottom one, wouldn't it? Plenty long enough. So I'm going to the cable. in the face with the cable. It's always fun. Oh. So I just got to make a cut. 
the estimates. I should go down to the shed, pick what bike I want to finish off. Probably the ladies' one, so I can get that up. I'm not going to put this one up for sale just yet. I do just want to find a pair of uh, handlebar grips, though. I'll have a quick look in my tubs outside to see if I have got another any more seat posts kicking around. I'm sure I actually have some. Well, I'm sure this isn't all of them. It won't take me um, 10 minutes to do the Saracen and I'd rather get the ladies one sorted. I'll find a pair of pedals while I'm down there. Oh, that's why I couldn't find the long one. I haven't checked email so I don't know if I've actually had any offers. Let's just have a quick look. No. Oh shit. I suppose that is it. In quite a long video, 40 minutes, but if I had the seat then... Well I've got a seat, but if I had the um, seat post up here, mm, less than an hour to get a bike working, that's... Well... I'd say an hour if I count the 10, 15 minutes or so it took me to find the wheel nut and put the chain on. Well, the chain wasn't exactly hard. And I've actually noticed on top sprocket at the front there that chain is in perfect line. I didn't think it was going to be. But that looks pretty good to me from here, so... I'll leave it at that. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.